Are you looking to buy a home here in the Cleveland area or anywhere else for that matter this year? Buying a home is a huge decision and it can often be overwhelming, but don't worry, I'm here to help. Hi, I'm George Poperad with eXp Realty and today I'm going to go over six things you should take into consideration when shopping for a new home. There was an old saying when it comes to buying real estate, location, location, location. When choosing a new home, location really is one of the most important factors to consider. Think about what's important to you and your family. Things like proximity to schools or parks or shopping centers or restaurants restaurants or public transportation? Do you want to be near your job? Do you want to be near highways? Is a walkable neighborhood like here in Lakewood something that you really want? It is also important to research the safety and crime rates in the area. You want to make sure that you choose a neighborhood that fits your family's needs, your lifestyle, and is close to the things that are most important to you. You can change and upgrade your home to fit your needs as they evolve over time, but you can't change the location. So making sure that you're in the right place is really important. After location, knowing your budget is probably the most important thing to consider when shopping for a new home. Determine how much you can afford to spend on a home and make sure you stick to your budget because there's nothing worse than falling in love with a home that you can't actually afford. Figure out your comfortable monthly maximum payment. Notice I didn't just say maximum payment. Many home buyers are able to afford more than they think, but going up to your maximum budget can often leave you house poor with all of your income going towards your new home. Don't forget to factor in the cost of insurance, property taxes, utilities, and the other expenses that come along with home ownership. It is important to be realistic and to make sure that you are comfortable with your monthly mortgage payment. So figure out your budget and stick to it. It is extremely important to consider the size of the home and the layout of the rooms when shopping for a new home. You should make sure that it fits your current and your future needs. If you're planning to start a family at some point in the next few years, make sure that there are enough bedrooms and bathrooms. If you work from home, make sure that you will have a space available when that spare bedroom you've been using as an office becomes occupied. Is there an attic or a basement space that could potentially be finished off to add more usable space if you need it. You could add an addition onto your home at some point as your family expands, but that can be extremely expensive and might not even be possible depending on the size of your lot and local restrictions. So make sure the size is going to fit you now and in the future. Make sure you take a really close look at the condition of the home, both inside and out. Check for any major repairs that might be needed, like a new roof or updated plumbing or electrical. If you're buying a home with a basement, you really want to make sure that there are no foundation issues because those can be ridiculously costly. You also want to consider the age of the appliances and the other systems of the house, like the heating and cooling. When I am showing a home to potential buyers, I will almost never point out the obvious updates, like granite countertops or new appliances. But instead, I'm going to be pointing out potential problems or areas that you might need to spend money on within the first five years of owning the home. Things like an aging roof or deteriorating concrete, outdated electrical service, old HVAC systems, and potential foundation issues. Because I want you to be aware of any potential issues before you buy so you can avoid costly surprises down the road. Think about what you need in a home and make sure the property has everything that you are looking for. I always have my clients make a wants and needs list before we start the home search process. This helps you put your priorities in order and figure out what amenities are most important to you. Do you need a big yard for your kids or dogs to play in? Or is that just a want? A garage for your car? A finished basement for a home office or entertainment space? Make a list of your must-haves and check off each item as you're out touring homes. Things like a fenced-in yard or a finished basement are things that you can add after you buy. So take into consideration if it's a current need or a future need that can be added later on if you need to. If the right home comes along that fits your size and space needs right now, but it also has the potential to fit your other needs down the line, that's definitely something to consider. Unless you are working with an unlimited budget, you will more than likely have to compromise on some aspects of the home. So figuring out your needs and wants ahead of time is a good idea. It is important to think about the future value of the home that you are buying. Consider factors like the local real estate market, the property's potential for future appreciation, and any upcoming development or changes in the neighborhood. A home in an up and coming area with a lot of new construction may be a good investment, but make sure that you are comfortable with the changes that might come with it. If you are worried about buying a home while prices are up, consider this. Yes, buying a home is an investment, but it's also a place to live, a place to raise a family, a place to make memories. Historically, real estate will almost always appreciate over the long term. So if you're just looking for a starter home that you plan to stay in for four to five years, you should be more conservative and pay real close attention to any repairs or upgrades that the home might need because those things could eat into your future equity. But if you're looking for a forever home or someplace you plan to stay in for 20 years or more, yes, you wanna pay attention to the future value, but it becomes less important the longer you stay in the home. Buying a home is a really big investment and you wanna make sure that you are happy with the decision for years to come. So considering these six things when shopping for a home to buy, will help you make an informed decision. If you are considering buying or selling a home here in the Cleveland area, or if you just have some real estate or home-related questions, reach out, let's have a conversation. Thanks for watching.